it's Lainey Lashes here and welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing today? I seriously hope your day is off to a fabulous start. So far my day has been really good. I am getting a bit of a later start because I'm addicted to Love is Blind. It launched and my hubby and I are obsessed. There's only two reality shows, I should say three, three reality shows that we love. One, My 600 Pound Life. Isn't that what it's called? No. Tony, what's it called with the sisters? That's it. A Thousand Pound Sisters, obsessed with that. 90 Day Fiance and Love is Blind. As soon as Love is Blind hits Netflix, it's all we do is watch it. So we have spent like a good portion of the day and a good portion of last night watching the show. Oh my gosh, this season, I don't know. I'm feeling good about this season and the couples, okay? But really, if you guys enjoy chatting, if you can't tell, I'm a chatty Kathy here. And if you enjoy makeup content, fragrance content, and some lifestyle content thrown in there, then make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the Lash Fam. You will not regret it. Seriously, a great community here, and I am so thankful for you guys. Okay, guys, we're gonna dive into what I have picked up for my birthday. Woo-hoo, it's my birthday month. If you love fragrance, I will link down below my monthly fragrance tray. I said I'm gonna smell good all month, and I meant it. I'm really into fragrance tray videos, so I had to start doing it here on the channel. I'm going to dive into the perfumes I picked up for my birthday because I couldn't resist. Some beauty products I picked up. We'll start with probably the most currently debated fragrance on the interweb. So if you want to hear all about what I picked up and my thoughts on this, then just keep watching. Did it a bought the biggie, okay. I honestly am becoming a really big Kayali fan. I have three other big bottles. I currently have Vanilla Royale, um, Invite Only, my mind went blank for a second, and Eden, and then I had to pick up Yum Pistachio Gelato. If you don't live in a cave when it comes to fragrance, then you probably heard about this fragrance as soon as it was talked about, secretly released, I still don't know if it was someone actually like took it from the the factory or if it was one of those oh it's been stolen and released early to like build hype I'm not sure and I don't care all I know is as soon as I heard the notes I was like OMG I have to try it so in here the hero notes I believe is what Mona calls them so like the core those really important standout notes pistachio gelato that's what had me hooked Hazelnut, love a nutty fragrance. Sweet rum, okay, I can I can get with that. Whipped cream, um, one of my favorite notes of all time. Marshmallow, an absolute favorite note. And then cotton candy, are you kidding me? Like I could not resist. And I was like, oh, and it's launching in March, my birthday month. It's fate. I had to. I will say this is my first full-size Kayali I have picked up. I usually have waited until like Black Friday. That is when I got the last three bottles. This one, I was hooked. I was a sucker. I had to. I don't have anything on yet today. And of course, I had to do like all the other YouTubers I watched when they talked about this fragrance. I had to wear my mint green, pistachio green to match the bottle. Let me put this on and we will discuss. I'm in a fragrance group online and someone brought up the pistachio lotion that's on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I did put that on after getting, or I should say before getting ready today. And I do think that is a great primer for this fragrance. There are actually a ton of notes in here and I'm going to cover those real quick. It says top notes of pistachio, bergamot, ice cream, rum, hazelnut, and cardamom. Middle notes of lily of the valley, jasmine, peony, pear, raspberry, white peach, and geranium. So quite the mix in the middle. And then the base notes of whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy, sandalwood, tonka bean, locum, which looks like some type of candy, cedar, and cacao. When Mona talked about this on her channel, she said this was a straight gourmand fragrance. And I agree, I really don't pick up floral notes. Like, thinking about it, I feel like it it's in there. Like, I can understand how it's in there, but if you didn't tell me there were floral notes in here, would never know it, honestly. Don't get floral at all. What I do get, and I think why this has been so debated is, the bergamot in the opening kind of throws you for a loop. It's not at all what you expect 
when you hear those hero notes. Do I think bergamot should have been included on the list, on the bottle? Yes, because it's very prominent in that opening. I actually love it. I have found I'm becoming a very big fan of bergamot, but the reason why I love bergamot, it adds a freshness that only citrus can, a juiciness that only citrus can, but it doesn't scream citrus fruit. Like someone who doesn't look up notes behind perfume wouldn't be like, oh, that's citrus in there. No, it's just like, oh, that has a fresh twist in there. And I love that. This came out in March. It's marketed as a spring summer and it is the perfect gourmand for that. I'm a gourmand girl. I love sickly sweet fragrant fragrances, honestly, love it. But in the heat of the summer, no one wants to reach for those syrupy, heavy, ultra sweet frag fragrances during the day because it honestly can make you sick to your stomach. It can give you a headache. This is like the perfect spring summer gourmand because it does have that freshness in there from the bergamot. I think it opens with an extremely fresh, just it's just like freshness. And then you just have to give it about maybe 10 seconds to dry down. Cause when I first sprayed it, my husband was by me and he was like, that doesn't smell like pistachio gelato. First whiff, I was like, no, it doesn't. I enjoyed the first whiff, but wasn't at all yum pistachio gelato. Kind of was like, hmm, interesting. Then I'd let it dry down for 10 seconds, maybe 20. Like now, totally getting pistachio. I pick up that pistachio. It's not syrupy. It's not dense, heavy, but you really get that nuttiness. You get that richness that you get from pistachio. You get that sweetness from pistachio gelato. To me, this is like walking into a gelato shop in the scent in the air. It's not like actually taking a bite of the gelato. It's just you've walked into a gelato shop. You know they serve sweets and they're lactonic sweets and you get that nuttiness and you know they serve pistachio gelato. But to me, it's not like taking a bite. Mona said for her, it's like taking a bite of pistachio gelato. I disagree with that not mad at it, but just not what I'm getting. As it dries down, I very much get the cotton candy and a little bit of that marshmallow. But for me, this fragrance stays very sweet, light, fluffy. It's just very fluffy. It's a little airy in the way that Cloud is airy, in the way that Baccarat Rouge is airy. Not dupes, not saying that, but this is a fluffy, airy, sweet, fragrance and I think that's why it works for spring and summer. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it smells great. It's sweet. I love sweet. Some comparisons I do get as it really dries down would be to honestly pink sugar. I really get pink sugar vibes in the dry down. That cotton candy really comes out. I think this is still lighter, fluffier, a little more elevated, elegant version of pink sugar but could I see walking by someone wearing pink sugar and someone wearing the Kayali Yum and be like, oh, they're wearing the same thing? I think I could. So obviously, if you're on a really strict budget and you love cotton candy, maybe give pink sugar a try before spending, this was expensive, $138 for the big bottle. Now there are smaller ones, 10 mils. So if you're really not sure, go small or buy a decant or try pink sugar to see if you enjoy how cotton candy smells on you. I'm a girly girl, I'm feminine, I love to smell sweet, so I am all for smelling like cotton candy. This one to me is not really lactonic. I get much more that cotton candy, that marshmallow, that sugary sweetness, but it's very light and fluffy, so I don't really get a lot of creamy lactonic vibes in this. I love it, I'm a big fan, very happy with it, not disappointed at all. A couple other things I want to mention as I wore this the other day. I was trying to make mental notes for you guys. A couple things to point out that I could see being a turnoff for some is it is fresher than expected. It is almost a little soapy. I don't mind it and I'm not really a big soapy fragrance person. Like I don't want straight up soap. But as I was wearing this, every once in a while I was kind of like, oh, I feel like I smell fresh laundry. And then I was like, no, I think that's me. And then like another time I was like, kind of reminds me of that creamy scent that's in Dove Body Wash. Now it doesn't smell like Dove Body Wash, but just that creamy, sweet freshness that comes from Dove. Definitely got whiffs of that. 
So if you don't like fresh, if you don't like clean laundry at all or soapy at all, then run, 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 because I don't think this will be for you. I think there would be other gourmands with similar notes like marshmallow, cotton candy, that you would enjoy more. But I honestly think this is a really cool fragrance and I'm actually really excited about it. I like the route Kayali is going with this because it's kind of exciting. There are really multiple layers to this one. And since I don't dive into a lot of high-end niche, a lot of my fragrances are kind of like, you get what you get. This one, it's kind of an adventure. You start off with the freshness and then you get the pistachio and the nuttiness and the little bit of gelato and then it dries into that cotton candy and marshmallow. It takes you with some twists and turns. So it's an interesting wear to me. I really love it. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Don't regret getting the big bottle at all. Like I honestly love this. I love the color of the bottle itself. I think it's beautiful. I love the frosted glass look. I love that I can still see my juice inside. I think it looks really pretty lined up with my other Kayali's. I do wish Kayali would always do the diamond top. I felt the same way with my invite only. I like the diamond top. I kind of would have liked them all to have that so it's a little bit more matchy matchy so it looks a little nicer together. It's not the end of the world to me. I get why she picked white. Again, love it. So happy I added it to my collection. Really excited to layer this because I think Mona said she likes to layer it with Eden Juicy Apple. Like it doesn't sound good to me in hearing them combined, but I could see how they would be pretty together because Eden Juicy Apple also has a very like airy sugariness in the dry down. So I, I could see it working. I'm excited to try it out. Very excited to have this in my collection. If you guys have tried out Yum, let me know your thoughts. I seriously would love to hear what you guys think. Love it, hate it, I want to know. So that was the biggest purchase in my birthday splurges on myself. I did pick up two cheapies because I went to, it was, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know, I can't remember now. It was either Burlington or Marshalls. Poof, memory gone, not sure. I saw this and I just honestly bought it for the package. 100%. Could have smelled like trash and I was like, nope, I have to have it. It's so cute. And this I believe is from KKW, but was like a collab with Kylie. But let's see here. Yes, KKW. It is the pink lips. We have accords of citrus, powdery, woody, white floral, coconut, amber, musky, sweet, fresh, spicy. I have a hair on my nose. I can feel it. Where are you? I always look up the notes on Fragrantica when I see perfumes I'm interested in at the discount stores. And honestly, it was the coconut and the bottle. I was like, yep, gonna get it. Hopefully I don't hate it. And I haven't worn it. I don't know if I love it or hate it. But in here we have bergamot, hopeful, mandarin orange, mm, I don't know, coconut nectar, TR flower, solar notes, gardenia, in the base, sandalwood, coconut, amber, and musk. I love the idea of the dry down. I did spritz it in the um, package it came in when I got home. And I will say, I like that coconut in there, but I got a pretty cheap smelling fragrance. I haven't given it a wear. Maybe it smells so different on the skin, on the clothes. So we'll see, but this bottle is just too cute. I, I couldn't resist, I couldn't. And then the other one is I've seen this at those types of stores, this brand. The brand is, I think I looked it up once. It's like Karen Lowe or something like that, but it's made in Paris and I've had really good luck with other kind of not so known brands, specifically like Johan B or something like that. Also made in France and they're spectacular and the price is really good. And I smelled it just from the cap and I was like, oh my word, I love that. So I had to pick it up. I think this one was even cheaper, maybe like $12.99, $14.99. Pretty darn cheap. And I don't think this one is even on Fragrantica. In here we have notes of Bulgarian rose, white jasmine, vetiver, and cedarwood, also musk. This gives me very classy woman vibes, especially after going from the Kayali Yum to this. She's classy, okay? And smells like it's going to be extremely powerful just by how strong it is from the cap. Really excited to give this a wear. Have you guys tried it out? Let me know your thoughts. I think there's quite a few from this brand and from a few I've seen across the interweb, it's pretty popular. It gets really good reviews for a very budget-friendly price. I also picked up, and I will put a picture up here, the Good Chemistry, which I really enjoy that brand at Target Coffee Cloud. I picked it up and I returned it. Not because it's bad. I actually really 
really enjoyed it. And in there, you had notes of bergamot, espresso, and like woody notes. Love the opening. Honestly, love the dry down, but it's 1000% a dupe of cloud with just like the slightest splash of espresso in the opening. And that little bit of a twist really grabbed my attention and I really debated on getting rid of it, but in the deep dry down, it is 1000% cloud, like it's, it's cloud. And I already have the original and I have the 2.0. So I was like, do I really need this? Or is this silly? And I was like, this is silly. It, it's 1000% a dupe. I don't return often, but I was like, this is just too repetitive. When I first wore it, I was like, it's just different enough. But in that deep dry down, I was like, nope, it's exactly the same. Honestly, I got good longevity for it being a clean brand because I sprayed it on my shirt and I actually put the same shirt on the next morning. And I was like, oh, I can smell it. So it lasts. It's good if you don't have cloud or if you want cloud that is clean, then I highly recommend it. But it was just too redundant in my collection. Okay, that is all for fragrance that I spoiled myself with. Now let's talk about beauty. I did pick up Falscara. Finally, I have thought about this on and off, but after really enjoying the new Kiss um, like Impress Press On Falsies, I was like, hmm, do I need to try Falscara? And then as I was checking out at Ulta, the girl working happened to tell me how she loved Falscara, and I was like, it's a sign, I'm supposed to get it. So I am wearing it today. I got the pack that has the tube of Falscara, the applicator, and one set of wispies. And I was like, okay, if I like that, then I will keep this refill, like refill pack. These are also the wispies, and honestly, like, I love it. I had a little bit of struggle with the bond kind of clumping my lashes together. So I do think there's a bit of a learning curve, but I am loving falsies that go under my lashes. Like there's hope for me in falsies because I do love how it amps up a look, but I have such small lids that a lot of falsies just close in my eye. The fact that these go under my lashes, it doesn't weigh my lids down. Give it a couple more wears, but so far I really like the falscara. Have you guys tried this out? I must say I had laryngitis. That's why I did a very short video last week and my voice still is just not normal. It's normal, but if I do much talking at all, I feel it just wanting to kind of give out almost. It just gets a little raspy. I want my full vocal cord usage back. And then I also picked up the new e.l.f niacinamide power grip love power grip and i was like hmm, i'll try it uh, i just love this with the hot months coming up because this sticks your makeup to your face like literal glue i also picked up the elf camo color corrector this like peachy one because i really struggle with darkness right here and i've been using for a long time the becca and i like it but it's so creamy i find it starting to really crease up on me throughout the day. I also picked up the NYX Fat Lip Drip Oil. I love lip oils. Am I like in love with this? Not necessarily. It's kind of like any other lip oil. I actually almost wish it was like a little bit juicier. And then while buying my Kaoli, I was like, oh, I'm already on the Huda site. So I picked up the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. Powder. I have been curious about this. But I've heard so many people say, oh, the scent is so awful, it's so strong that it really kind of was like, oh, I don't know if I want that on my face. But I've heard they've tamed that. So I was like, I'm gonna give you a shot. I got the color Cupcake. I really wanted the like cherry blossom one because the whole pink thing is really in. And again, I just don't like the darkness I get here. That's sold out like everywhere always. So I went with Cupcake which I think is supposed to have a little bit of pinkness, just not as pink as the cherry blossom. And I really have been wanting the Huda Honey Lip Balm simply because I'm addicted to lip balm. I saw that for like the same price or barely more, you could get the set that has the lip balm and their mini Honey Whip and the Yo Glow Honey Flower Enzyme Scrub. So I was like, okay, I mean, I basically have to. And I had to, like literally, I mean, it was like, it was written on the Huda website. Lainey, you, you have to try these. I did pick up these cute little Huda powder puffs. They're just such a good size for getting in here. I know e.l.f. just launched their version of this, but I can't find it anywhere near me. So I'm like, e.l.f., where are these? Why do you have them hiding? I want to try them. So instead I had to pick up the Huda and I do really like this size, honestly. Like, I feel like this is gonna work really, really well. Let's see the little bigger one. It's kind of cute because it kind of looks like a heart. 
but I just have a good feeling about these. Ooh, I can't wait to try these. I was putting on my powder today with a brush like I normally do, and I thought, seriously? You forgot to use these. So I haven't tried these out yet, but I'm very excited to. Okay guys, that is all for my birthday bash here. This is what I picked up. This is what I spoiled myself with. Other than that, we are planning to take a mini day trip to Indianapolis. It's not too far of a drive where if we leave early in the morning, we can get there, enjoy the afternoon, and get back before it's too crazy late. So that's the game plan. If you guys are familiar with Indianapolis and know any fun stuff that a toddler would enjoy, let me know because I'm really excited to just get out, do something different, go see something new, check out a different state. Like, I'm ready to travel. The travel bug has been biting me terribly. Let me know. I would love to hear it. And all right, guys, that is all. Thank you so, so, so very much for watching. And as always, please have a wonderful day and try to stay positive. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.